MeshLab is a great open source software for cleaning and editing existing meshes. So the kind of meshes you would get from segmenting a CT scan or directly from a surface scan. In this video, I'm going to be going through the basics of the interface of MeshLab. So to start, you can see in the 3D viewport, I've already imported a mesh. I did this by going to the file menu and clicking import mesh. I can navigate the viewport by holding down the left mouse button and dragging to rotate the mesh, or holding down the middle mouse button and dragging to pan. I can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. There's a few different options for what you see in your viewport. The most basic are found on the toolbar right here. Mesh Lab's default is to set the mesh to um, what Blender calls smooth shading, and it, smooth shading is still a term I prefer, but what Mesh Lab calls uh, vertex shading. So basically, if I zoom in on the mesh, you can't actually see the individual polygon faces because it's been interpolated and smoothed over. However, if I switch to flat shading, or what Mesh Lab calls face shading, I can actually start to see the individual faces. These become even more clear if I turn on the edges. So this is the uh, view I recommend using for if you're editing a scan mesh because it'll really help you see any errors in your mesh. So for example, on this side, I can see that it's looking pretty good, but some of the polygons are much smaller than some of the other polygons. And then if I go over to the other side, I can start to see that there are some artifacts coming up off the edge of this mesh and that there are some funky holes that might cause me problems later on. I can start to fix some of these with the selection tools that MeshLab has, which we'll get into in a later video. Um, the other core feature I use MeshLab for are the filters. And if I click on the filters menu, you can see that there are many different filters, um, and they're sorted into these submenus, so things like cleaning and repairing, and smoothing and deformation. Um, these are really useful for kind of processing your mesh so that it has uniform polygon size or it's decimated to a certain number of polygons, those sort of things. Finally, on the right, we have this layer window. So in this upper part, you can see I've actually got two meshes in this scene, but right now we're only viewing one, and that's the original mesh that I imported in. The second layer contains a mesh from just a random filter that I ran it through. I can turn off the first layer by clicking the eyeball and turn on the second layer by clicking on the eyeball next to it. And you can see this is a different mesh that's been run through, I believe, the uniform resampling filter. Um, the final part of this window to note is that there is a console down here that will tell you every action that MeshLab takes. This is really great for troubleshooting. Um, any 3D program is going to run into issues and errors and even crash, and this feature in MeshLab will help you troubleshoot any problems that you're running into.